Is that a ramp? Is that a challenge? Don't do it. It's a challenge. But... Hey, wake up. Ladies and gentlemen, as you know, I have a thing for vehicles and machines. Yeah, I'm a little bit weird that way, I guess. And last time we checked out Mud Runner, this time we are back with the latest addition in the series, which is Snow Runner. So it's time to tame the last frontiers of Alaska. And thank you so much to Focus Home Interactive for sponsoring this video. And this game is available today on PC, Xbox One, and PlayStation 4. And if you guys want to give it a go, make sure you use the link in the description. But without further ado, just sit back, relax, and enjoy. Look at my trucks, my trucks are amazing. Don't give me a lick because I bet ya, they do not taste like raisins. And this guy's asleep again. There we go. So I only bought these two from the Michigan map. We do have the Chevy and the GMC truck. And this is pretty much the only vehicles I own at this stage. And what goes for the map of Alaska, this is North Perth, Alaska, USA. And I haven't explored anything. So this is gonna be a little bit of an adventure for us. And hopefully we can find some more vehicles scattered around the map. I'm not really sure I've got the vehicle suited for this. So let's say pipeline construction. Deliver everything they need fast. So we need to deliver service spare parts. And where do we acquire those guys? What is that? A small scout flatbed. Check. We have the warehouse over here, which does contain the materials needed. And I think I can pretty much just use my GMC truck. Uh, so let's do the pipeline construction. The only downside is that the nearest warehouse is miles away. I believe this would be the closest one over here. Maybe we can make a pit stop on this watchtower to, to reveal this area for us, because that is what they do, I guess. Just look how beautiful this looks. Full power, more power. Help, I need somebody, help. Dear Daria. Day 55 in Alaska. I'm still stuck. I think, I think we need to kind of rethink the situation a little bit. We can still use the GMC, uh, I think, at least. But we would need to, first of all, change the tires, right? So let's maybe go with uh, chain tires. Uh, should we? What, 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 what difference? I guess it's just the size. But it's not always the size that matters, right? So let's go with 40, 47, because size actually matters. Should we get those guys? Yes, I think we should. Purchase made like so. Yes. So we get the tires. However, what else would we need? Winch. We do have uh, the winch. Do we upgrade that to maybe a like, medium? Maybe a high power? High power. More power. Let's get... Um, uh, extended medium winch uh, going on this guy. Please do purchase. Differential locks. Uh, do we need? Do we? Do we? Do we? Do we get? Um, should we install some diffs on this guy? Please do. Perfect. Any free metals? Oh my, oh my gosh. This is so awesome. There's so much to choose from. Just look at this. Adding better rims is going to be like yay. But now, nah, I think this should be it for us, right? Will this help us? Yes, it will. Give the toot. Boom. Start the engine. Like that. This is... I mean, this is so beautiful. I mean, just look at this. Just everything just bouncing up and down. Sounds terrible, but it's not. I'm a simple man. I see this and I love this. So I'm kind of thinking like if we could maybe get our supplies in this place instead of going all the way to the warehouse. Well, we will see. Because I mean, that is just service spare parts. Will this do it for us? Cargo management. I mean, it kind of says the same, right? Let's load them up and see. Or two. There we go. The most annoying truck driver in Alaska. <laughs> they would hate me. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going off road. Full power! More power! <laughs> no, no, no. Oopsie, I did it again. But, but, but I mean, the chains will help us greatly, right? So let's go low gear and lock the diffs. And this should be a walk in the park, I believe. Man, I love this. This is so neat looking. And I think we should be out, right? Do the toot. No, don't. No more toots. Stop with the tooting. Oh no. Oh no. It does kind of look like we need to deliver one service spare part from each side of the pipeline. Or of the pipe. Is that the case? Engine off. Handbrake. 
Ay, 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 ay. That might be a pain in the nuggets. Yeah, that might actually be the case. Let's see here. Cargo management, or maybe not. Now we've done it. Okay, that's perfect. Pipeline is fully operational. Ay, 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 ay. This, um, this doesn't look good. I thought this would be an easy mission. So I picked a fire in a barrel, which is deliver some fuel to the port. A gas sign and in front of us. Not so bueno. But we do have the chains, which might not really help us that much in this scenario. And we do have the diff locks installed. So let's give this a go. No pain, no gain. And is that ice? Okay, this might be a little bit easier, but will we go through the ice? Nah. I mean, I've watched the ice road trackers on Discovery Channel. They never do. There's tons of scares, but they never go through, do they? <laughs> it looks insane. It looks so amazing. You know what I wish? I wish you could just jump out of the, of the truck and then just kind of like walk around. Just a little bit. I guess ideally at this stage would be to avoid the deep tracks and just go on the white snowy parts, but will that help us? I, I don't think it will. This truck is not made for this, not at all. Maybe with all wheel drive, but uh, definitely not like this. You know what this does? This definitely brings back memories to the, to the Euro truck days. You guys will have to let me know what you guys think about the game, but for me, this is a perfect combination, because previously we had the mud. It was, was terrible, right? But now we have the mud, snow and ice to kind of take into account, which this is a moose crossing, by the way. But it just makes the game so much harder, and uh, I'm not good at the game by any means, but I'm just having so much fun trying to figure out how everything operates and the routes and such. I mean, just look at this GMC truck struggling, and it's not given up. It's just not given up. It's just a gift which keeps on giving. Oh no. Tons of mud in front of us. Full power? Full power. Can we? Like, we don't even have the, the, the low gear or, or, or the diff locks over here. And we're still like making great progress. Power, speed, momentum. That is all. So I guess, first of all, let's just turn off the engine like so. And let's maybe refuel the truck to begin with. Perfect. Escape this up. And then I guess we load... Where are we going to be loading from the other side? I think so. Role playing this, by the way. Trying to. It's not working out that great. It's not bad, but not great. There we go. Perfect. We've done it. So, ladies and gentlemen, cargo management. And I guess we just load up. That should do it for us, I think. And then we just need to deliver that to the to the ports. The, the, the main problem is it is... It is quite, quite a distance away. Ay, 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 and I guess it might not be this way. Water over road, well, I see. How, how, how deep is it, though? That is the question. Well, we will, we will find out. No pain, no gain, Kralis. Yeah, I guess. Maybe what we could do is just turn... Like, if I would turn right over here, or left, I mean... Would that, would that give me leeway all the way to the ports? <laughs> no, I don't think it's going to be the case. There might be like a waterfall up ahead and then we need to reverse all the way back. So, so let's not maybe. It's not that deep, it kind of seems like. Or is it? Now, as, as long as we don't flood the engine, we should be absolutely fine. How are we looking? Kinda amazing, I guess. Should we just go full power up ahead? Yeah. I'm kinda proud of us. Ugh. Well, 
Take it back. Take it back. Actually, I, I slinted on, on a pebble. It was not my fault. Ooh. What does it say? Vehicles over 40 prohibited. Okie dokie. Factory. I got a funny feeling that we won't be able to reach the port the, 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 this way. <laughs> no. How, how heavy is this vehicle? You guys think that would be a doable situation going up here, this little uh, mountain? I kind of want to give that a go. But, uh, like, just judging from the, from the steep, the steep terrain, I don't think you're going to manage it with this, with this truck. But, uh, let's, let's try. No, 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 we're not going to be able to do this. Ay, 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 ay. What is the way to the port, then? Questions. Get the diffs in. What did it say? Factory and warehouse, right? <laughs> okay. We can't flood the engine. Okay, maybe not grab a Christmas tree either. But uh, how am I supposed to get past this? It is just a little stream, Corrales. Well, no. It is uh, humongous. You might be humongous what? It's, it's, it's deep, okay? It's, it's, it's super deep, and it's gonna be scary. Hey, lady, maybe if we would go... Um, let's see here. Oh, maybe if we would go on the side over there, to the left. Getting on a little, like, island over there, and then, and then what? Is better than yours? I'm planning this, man. It's, it's, it's the fun part of it, I guess. Yeah, we, no, we're not gonna go, go, go past this. Because the thing about this, if we go straight over here, right? So, Vinch, if we go straight over here, we will, um, we will get stuck. And then we're gonna flood the engine, and it's gonna be game over for us. So we need to be smart about this. So let's go to the, to the side over here. Let's, let's, tr uh, are we stuck? Are we stuck? Oh, oh yeah, okay, don't worry. We've, we've got this, there we go. Like, we're, we're pretty heavy at this stage, which is uh, both a, a, a beneficial factor and a very ne negative factor, I guess, but, but... What? <laughs> My pops are sweaty, mom spaghetti. This is intense. It might not look intense, but believe me, being in this situation kind of sucks, because it takes a quite a bit of time to, to kind of maneuver around... Uh, da, 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 maneuver around uh, on the map. Oh man, what do we do? We can do this, right? We can do this. Perfect. This is, this is exactly like giving birth. Not that I know how it is, but, but, but it kind of feels like it's terrifying. Oh my goodness, we've made it. The worst part is that in front of us, we have, uh, we have bigger puddles to tackle. And uh, the, the, the one behind was just, just, just a tiny one. And I'm not sure I'm doing this totally wrong, but uh, oh no, oh no, this is deep. Like, look at us. <laughs> There's got to be an easier way, but why take the easy way to the port when you can have a struggle for an hour or so? It's 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 much 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 much. Don't tip it. Don't tip it. It's much much more fun. Like it is so tricky. Okay. This is going to be the end. Not the Christmas tree, Corrales. There we got the bigger ones. Like, if I can maybe just reach this little island and then do some island hopping about, we should be fine. Problem is, like, it was up. It's... It's just... It's just scary. It's... it's like, look at us. <laughs> Man, this game. This game. The struggle is real. I am so surprised. There we go. Full power. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. We've made it. Okay. I mean, that was easy. <laughs> is that is that a real road up ahead? It is. <laughs> 
So I guess uh, this over here is the easy way to report, but why should you satisfy with easy? I've been at it for about one hour and uh, I'm proud. Honey, I have arrived at the destination and by the way, this is a sleek looking port. For those of you watching my Hermitcraft series, you know I'm building one of those guys. Uh, hmm. Interesting. So let's see here. Can we just unload this, be gone, this mission? Fun mission, but painful mission. Not that much points, not much cash, but I take it. Let's just take a little drive uh, and check this out. This is actually really nice. It's nicely made. So ladies and gentlemen, back in the safety of my beautiful Alaskan garage, I'm plotting my next move. And what I think I will do is we just take a peek at the global map. So currently we are in Northport. We can unlock Mountain River, White Valley or Pedro Bay. And I know I think it is the second mission over here for GR Enterprise, which says Village Delivery. So I know the gateway to Mountain River is up here. So why not maybe just making our way over here just to kind of check it out? Because I haven't done the first mission and obviously it's going to be a grind because that is a polar base and that's going to take a while because we need to transport bricks, metal planks and fuel. So what we'll do, what we will do is this. Uh, let's skip that. What trucks do I have in my disposal? We have the GMC. We do have the Chevy. Let's just do this. Boom. Can I see? There we go. There's the Chevy. The Khan. Marshall. The Kodiak C70, we also have the Scout 800, and White Western Star. But what if we go into the truck store, and let's say we want to have... Uh, let's say we want to have like an off-road. Is that the only one I can buy at this stage? <laughs> There's so much to it, it's so amazing. Um, I guess International Paystar 5070. Kiralis, look at her. Oh, no. Ooh, I don't think we're going to get there. I mean, unless I could go around this like so, would that be a possibility? Okay. Previously, we struggled with the GMC. And I mean, this doesn't even have chains or anything. It's just... Oh, okay. The current is a little bit strong. Do you see that trail over there? Kind of makes me want to check it out. Okay, I'm a man on a mission. Mission has been updated. I kind of need to check out this trail over here. This is going to be deep, right? Oh, this is so beautiful. <laughs> I'm just in love with this. But, but how deep is this? Can we make it with this track? It's, it's scary. I, th I think it's, it's a doable situation. Let's, um, uh, no, no, no. Let's go slow gear, maybe lock some diffs over here. Ladies and gentlemen, we have just saved this beautiful trailer. Like, who, who would leave that guy over there? It does not make any sense. Okay, this is not gonna work out. There's just too much pebbles. I do love how you can see the tracks, uh, like the way we came over here. Oh, can we? Log the diffs. Like, if I can pull this up. Like, we are just amazing at this game. Not really. The, the, the track is kind of amazing. 
<laughs> Look at us go. Full power. We, we didn't even use the winch. So this is the tunnel. Is it closed? That is the question. I could... Yeah. Mount River. And ladies and gentlemen, here we are. So what does... Ooh, what is that? <laughs> Interesting. It's not a it's not a huge map, obviously. We do have a service hub. We do have uh, well I, I guess that is that is myself over here. But it's supposed to be a mountain village, is it maybe no that looks like a factory, right? What kind of that mountain village delivery? Ooh. There's some type of vehicle over here in this far end. I kinda wanna reach that. So let's uh, go. Uh, handbrake off, all will drive on. Not that we need that. By the way, is this bridge head open? Nope. That is closed because that requires... Why, am I... Why did I bring the trailer with me? Does that mean I could go... No pain, no gain, girls. I wish a sign. What up is... Signs are meant to be moved. Okay, this will end very, very badly, kind of feels like. Take it... Take it very slowly. Okay, this trailer... is not really meant to be with us, but uh, it's here, and it's here to stay at this stage. Come on, you can... like, this, this is a beast. For the money we, we've paid for it, it is absolutely phenomenal. Amazing. Then in case we need that in the future, we can just pick it up, alright? It's a cat. <laughs> Holy smokes. Okay. That is hands down a beast. But I'm not even sure we can use that. I think that's maybe maybe just a mission. Or maybe not. Working stiff. Show task. What do you do? I'm George, the foreman of Lumber Mill. We need to help with our wear, uh, workhorse. And then, I mean, Caterpillar, blah, blah, blah. It takes quite a bit of the years. You can repair it and get it to the sawmill. Oh, I would love to. Problem is that, uh, yeah, I don't have the repair kit with me, right? Or do I? Oh man, that would be so cool. Ooh. My goodness, that was slippery. I'm hands down. I'm hands down so happy for this purchase. I'm, I'm sure there's be better, better, what you can call it, better, better tracks and such in the game, but uh, for the money, amazing. So this White Valley uh, part of the map has an airport, it kind of seems like. And where would that be? On the map. Is this... No, that's just a chimney. Okay, it is in the, the south part of it. In a galaxy far, far away. Ay, 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 uh, Handbrake. I don't think we can winch it up, per se. Um, let me see, can I show? Oh, no, 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 no. C. Pluck the stuck truck. Uh, how, how do I do? This is a dairy longhorn. If I would accept that, how would one? Get the winch from here to here and um, off we go.
Ladies and gentlemen, uh, very slowly, painfully, this guy is being pulled. Let's maybe lock the diffs over here. I love, look at the guy, he's got a little like fan as well in the, in the cabin. I think I will maybe let that guy go uh, soon, uh, mainly because uh, fuel levels, the consumption has shot through the roof. How you doing, buddy? All good? Yeah, he he, fantastic. Question is, like, I doubt we're gonna be able to get up here somewhere. Uh, like, maybe, maybe, maybe we could make our way over here. But I, I nah. This is gonna be a tough cookie. Oh, yes, 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 and no. <laughs> like, oh man, it's like on a pebble. I have to see myself as defeated. That guy ran out of fuel, which I'm gonna do very, very soon. Last pull of the day. Come on, come on. You can do this. Oh, no, it's just a slippery. Like, maybe if I had a chance, uh, it would have been different, the scenario over here. Yes, yeah, so the other guy is out of fuel. Uh, this is not gonna do it for us. Man! No! If I only had a fuel, uh, fuel, uh, trailer, he would have been saved. But... See you later. No! Oh! The dreams just got shattered. Maybe if we go through the forest, let not the dreams just be dreams, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not exactly sure if we will make it all the way to that road, but hopefully that is going to be the case. Watch out, free! Watch out! Come, Come at ya! Ooh, I see the road. This <laughs> is amazing. Just look at us. Christmas tree. Sorry. Ooh, we have a winch. Okay. Let's not forget that we have a winch. So in case we flip, we can still winch us up, hopefully. Absolutely amazing. We've made it. Zap, up, 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 up. Oh, man. Okay, this, this, this is gonna be, this is gonna be bad. <laughs> like, look at this guy. Nothing. Nothing puts baby in the corner, he says. And then chugs along. I was happy about my GMC truck, but this guy... This guy's the real MVP. Absolutely beautiful. We are 700 meters away from uh, from the airfield. Just to kind of see how it looks, and then we're gonna say goodbyes over there. Uh, if we can make it, let's not jinx it before we, before we make it, okay? Please don't be a bridge destroyed up ahead. Oh, dot, dot, dot. Is it? No, it's just... Oh, it's much mud. A lot of mud. Oh my goodness. Oh my, oh my. Like, this guy is the champion. But this is, might be grim. Even for this guy. How are you so amazing? 
Like obviously it's meant. It's bo it was as, as I said. It was is born for this. For this. Uh, for this task. Didn't even have to win shit. That looks like the Sparta guy, by the way. The guy inside. This is Sparta. Okay, if we could maybe just avoid all this muddiness, that would be great. But this guy's no. I'm jumping right in it. And no mud has stopped this guy before. And he's definitely not stopping him now either. 300 meters away from the airfield. Um, let's go up to this main road, I guess. We could go off-roading, but um, I'm a little bit afraid that, that, that the gas might run out. I don't think it will, but just in case it would. Oh my goodness. What does it say? Airfield. And uh, drilling sites. It's an American Air Force plane. Ooh, drifting. Security? Non-existent. Ladies and gentlemen, we've made it. United States Navy. Handbrake. Can, can I see how fast we're going? Nope. It feels fast. Is that a ramp? Is that a challenge? Don't do it, Corrales. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's a challenge. Ladies and gentlemen. Ah! <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> Let's go. What is this vehicle? It is absolutely mad. Like, how? Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. It's alive. It's definitely alive. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, do check out the link in the description if you guys want to try the game. And uh, it's worth it. There's a lot to the game. And there's a lot of missions. And you will have a blast for quite a bit some time. I've been playing the game for about maybe, I don't know, three hours now. Just driving about, or maybe even four. And uh, I haven't gotten nowhere yet in the game. So obviously there's, there's a lot of stuff to do. So thank you so much for watching. Out of fuel. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. We kind of stuck here, right? Yeah, we are. Thank you so much for watching. Do check out the links in the description. I am Kraus. I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Let me know if you guys want to see more uh, of the Spin Tire Snow Runner. Thank you. Have a very nice day. Kraus. Just saying over. Bye bye. Don't forget, give it a like if you did enjoy it. Bye, everybody.